Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from CES in Las Vegas, Nevada. Joining me for this segment, we have Shreya Sen, who's the Chief Technical Officer at Exana. We're going to discuss the wearables market and a new technology called YR. Shreyas, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to Trade Talks. My pleasure. Explain to us, what is YR? You have heard about Bluetooth. You have heard about Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. YR is a fundamentally new wireless communication technology for connected devices around you. That is 100x lower energy than Bluetooth or Wi-Fi because instead of radiating the fields like them, here we confine the fields around the human body to get the energy benefit and many more. So how will this transform the wearables market? Wear is going to be in any device that touches the human in 10 years. That's why we believe. It is going to allow all day air with high speed video transfer enable charging free and pairing free motion trackers and other low speed devices. Right. And you can have pairing free headphones. So look, I have an Aura ring on right now. I have an Apple watch on right now. Right. It tracks everything. You think it could be in devices like what we're wearing today? Exactly. Any device that touches you and needs to be connected. So why do you think it's going to have an impact on real world and the metaverse perhaps in the future? Wire brings two transformative capabilities. One is high speed and second is ultra low power. Using high speed, you can send a video, real time video around your body to distribute the computation, making the AR headsets go from larger to extremely small and lightweight and have the computation elsewhere. Today that is possible with a physical wear. We can cut that by giving high speed communication around the body. So that's interesting because one of the things with virtual reality, everyone's like, oh, those glasses are so big, they feel bulky, they make me feel dizzy. You're saying that they could potentially perhaps fit like regular glasses exactly, one day? Exactly, they can. The reason they uh, are bulky is that people are trying to put a lot of computing in here. Right. That computing takes power and hence larger battery. People are starting to realize that you have to put the computing away in a puck, but the only way to distribute it today is a physical wear, which is not uh, handy. So we are the only company who can provide wear -like wireless around your body. So tell us more about Ixana. What role are you playing in this ecosystem? Ixana is going to be in every device that touches your body in 10 years if we, uh, if we execute correctly. Uh, we have, we are uh, at CES, we are unveiling our first, world's first YR11 silicon. And we are providing a platform and evaluation kit for the developers as well as other companies to test with it. And we will be partnering with device manufacturers to build this into the devices. Like you see Bluetooth today, wires should go in there and give you the 100x lower energy as well as other benefits like when you touch, you can communicate. I can fist bump and send business cards. Right. Oh, like with the old Palm Pilot. Exactly. <laughs> but so, you don't have to bring the device right, out, right, you can right. just do it. Right, so it sounds like you're making more efficient chips. Yes. Right, is, it was what it is. So, it is more efficient chip, mm -hmm. in, but also there is a new physics over here. This transformative benefit comes because of layers of innovation at the physics as well as in the chips. The physics is, instead of radiating the signals out all around you, like in electromagnetic communication like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, we confine electroquasi-static fields around the body in a bubble, right. up to 10 centimeters around you. Anything that comes in the bubble can communicate as if it has a virtual wire. Okay. We'll, see how, we'll see how that plays out over the next 10 years. All right, Chase, appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks, and thanks for joining me at CES. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.